Welcome to episode 47, The Introvert's Guide to Social Gatherings. In this episode, you'll discover why what you wear matters. Three words to invite deeper conversation and connection. The easiest thing you can do to seem more approachable. How to avoid getting stuck in a conversation. And how to make parties more fun. But first... Are you frustrated with shopping and feel there must be a better way? Then I invite you to try out Style Finder Boutique. My husband Jim and I, aka Big Daddy, opened Style Finder in 2015 to bring women just like you the best in upscale casual clothing that's perfect for work, the weekend, and everything in between. We offer three easy ways to shop. You can shop with us 24-7 at shopstylefinder.com. Or you can download the Style Finder Boutique app for both iPhone and Android. Be sure you turn notifications on so you know when we go live. You'll not only find a selection of amazing clothing, but we offer tools and resources to ensure you get clothing that's right for you. From our Shop the Look videos that offer styling suggestions to fit videos and measurements that help you determine if something will fit your shape, we bring the best of online shopping to your laptop or mobile device. Use code PODCASTLOVE to save 20% on your first order online or on the app. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, then I invite you to visit our brick-and-mortar location. We're in North Hills Shopping Center, and our team of stylists are here to assist you in curating the perfect outfit, selecting the perfect gift, or building a whole new wardrobe. Who knows, I might be in the boutique myself to personally help style you. We help you know what to wear and how to wear it so you can feel confident and beautiful every single day. Let us be your style's secret weapon so you can dress like you mean it. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Well, hello, beautiful friends. I'm coming to you from Miami. I'm sitting in my hotel room. I have spent the entire day masterminding with some beautiful women from around the world and talking about growing our business and growing ourselves. And it's just been such a beautiful, beautiful day. But I'm excited to share with you the Introvert's Guide to Social Gatherings because for many years, I was socially awkward. And the idea of going to parties or any kind of social gathering, even a family event, would really almost paralyze me with fear. I was not good at small talk, and I felt anxious about being surrounded by so many people. And the idea of being charming? Well, forget it. I quickly realized, though, that if I wanted to learn to relax and enjoy parties, I was going to have to find ways to feel more comfortable and, dare I say, charming. So I came up with a few tricks that would help me to relax and engage with others while easily being authentic. I realized it was the art of charm that I wanted to cultivate. Charm is a glow within a woman which casts a most becoming light on others. With the party season in full swing, chances are you'll be faced with an awkward moment or the fleeting thought of even skipping out on your parties altogether. Instead of skipping your parties, I want to offer you a few tips that really, for me, changed my experience at a party and really put me on a path to helping me enjoy parties and enjoy social situations much more. These just may have you looking forward to your next party invitation. Tip number one, wear something you love. Now, of course, I'm going to bring style into this, right? I just, you know, that's just what I do. But What I want to share with you is that when you wear an outfit that you love, it can help make you feel more comfortable and more confident. And so when you walk in the door, you're just, you're, you're comfortable in your own skin. And if people stare at you, wow, great. You're probably staring at this fabulous jacket I have on or my beautiful new shoes. 
And so when you walk into the party wearing something that makes you feel confident, that's the first step to a great party. Because nothing is worse than spending the entire evening wishing you could change clothes. Imagine walking into the party and you're already uncomfortable because you realize that the waistband on your pants is a little too tight. And then you walk into the party and you're uncomfortable already. And then you're struck with fear. That's just a double whammy and is a recipe for disaster. So start by wearing something you love that fits you, that flatters you, that makes you feel like a million bucks. Tip number two, arrive early. Walking into a crowded room can be a trigger for anxiety and leave you feeling like a deer in the headlights. Arriving early gives you a chance to meet others and help the host with final preparations while it's still quiet. Now, I love to arrive early and just, you know, jump in and assist with cutting the cake or helping to put the food on the tray or getting ice or fixing drinks. And then as people start to trickle in, you can really engage. It's almost as if it's your party. And you can easily engage with other people. As they come in, you can help them feel less awkward. And guess what? That certainly makes you feel less awkward because you're in control. And so arriving early really lets you get the lay of the land. So you're not walking into a situation where everybody's already paired up. They're already having conversations. You get to meet everyone as they come in. And then it's easy to walk up to them later and check in with them. Hey, how are you? We never really got a chance to talk. Arriving early gives you an edge. And so if at all possible, try that. Tip number three, pretending you're the hostess gives you an edge. Now, a hostess has an air of confidence about her that puts everyone at ease. A hostess is connecting others. A hostess is making sure everyone has fresh drinks, that they don't need anything, or if they do need something, you're helping. I know I've been at parties before and someone spilled their drink and I run to get paper towels or something because it makes me feel more engaged and more connected and then conversation just flows from there. Channel your inner hostess by introducing yourself to others, serving drinks, taking coats. A hostess is also always on a mission, which can help you from getting stuck in a conversation that you're not really crazy about. Or if there's someone you see that you really wanted to connect with, it can help you to easily remove yourself from a conversation and talk with the person that you really want to talk with. Number four, three little words that really invite deeper conversation. Do you know what they are? Tell me more. Something about these three words invite a deeper conversation and create a feeling of connection. And so when you're talking with someone and they're telling you about their job or what they do or what happened last night or the kids or whatever it is, and you simply want want to keep the conversation going, just say, tell me more. Plus, it keeps them talking. And you know what happens when they talk? They feel like, wow, this person's really interested in me. And that makes them look at you more favorably. And so when you say, tell me more, then if you are awkward and don't know what to say, it keeps them talking and it helps them to feel more connected to you. Tell me more opens so many doors because someone could make a simple comment. I don't like the shrimp dip. Tell me more. That drink was fabulous. Tell me more. We're going out of town next weekend. Wow. Tell me more. It just, it invites all sorts of engagement So have fun with that. Now, number five, this might seem like a no-brainer, but smile. Being approachable and friendly invites conversation and puts others at ease. Sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, but what I've found is that when you do smile, you really start to feel it. In fact, I listened to a podcast not too long ago, and I heard someone say that one of the first things he does as part of his morning routine is he smiles. He makes himself smile, and then... It turns into a real grin because he starts to feel it. And so you might have to fake it till you make it, but pretty soon it's going to feel authentic and natural. Now, these are just five quick tips to help you navigate your next social situation. Tip number one was wear something you love. Tip number two, arrive early. Tip number three, pretend you're the hostess. Tip number four, 
tell me more. And tip number five, smile. Ladies, I hope your next party is a beautiful, beautiful success. And I hope these tips have helped you to feel more confident about your next soiree, whether it's a holiday party, a family gathering, whatever you have in store. Just remember, you are amazing, you are beautiful, and you are awesome. So wear something you love, show up and be your fabulous self, and just know that other people are probably just as anxious as you are. I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.